border of customs they were like you have a warrant for your arrest in the state of Florida. And this was the very first time I've ever even heard about this. Hi, my name is Taylor and I am flying to Florida today to turn myself into it for a warrant that I've had for the past five years. Fast forward to December of 2021. I was on my way home and I ran a red light. I get pulled over. So the cop comes up to my window, says that he can see my warrant. He says, oh, starting January 1st, 2022, your warrant turns into a nationwide warrant. So next time you come in contact with the police officer, they will take you away in handcuffs. Mind you, I have two kids at this point. So I hire a lawyer. The only way that he's able to do anything, go down to Florida and turn myself into jail. So basically, could I have gotten away with, you know, Florida never getting me? Yes, absolutely. But did I want to live like that? No. Wish me luck story that you all have been waiting for. I lived in South Florida. I worked at a hair salon and one of my co-workers had a tip jar in their station and I had taken a hundred dollars from them. They had called a team meeting the next day saying, you know, so-and-so is missing the money. Whoever did it, just own up to it and then we'll just forget about it. What I do is I just didn't show up the next day. I ended up texting saying like, I'm so sorry, I was the one who did it. Basically said that like I owed my dealer $500, so that's why I needed the money, which was not true. So at the time of this incident in the state of Florida, which was 2016 to 2017, grand theft was anything over the amount of $300. I admitted to stealing the $100, but in my text message proof, I never said, I'm sorry about the hundred dollars. I just said, I'm sorry I took the money. They were smart enough to know that they could maneuver it to make it so I got grand theft to make it a felony. So fast forward, December 10th of 2016, filed the police report. Now I have the police report printed out right now and it says all of this. It explains the text message, it explains that the coworker had $640 in her purse and that I, 400 was missing and that I admitted to taking it. But at the time, I didn't know about this police report. After I'd lost that job, I was like, screw South Florida, I'm out of this. So my parents were living in London. I packed it up and I went to London to visit them for two months. After I was going to London, I was planning on going back, coming back home to Baltimore, which I did. And I didn't find out about the warrant until June of 2017. We went to Italy as a family. So they got me at the border of customs and they pulled my passport picture out of their back pocket and they were like, come with me. They were like, you have a warrant for your arrest in the state of Florida. And this was the very first time I've ever even heard about this. I was still actively using at this point, so I just was like kind of brushed it off and I didn't really give a shit about it, if I'm being honest. So fast forward to a year later in 2018, I'm in a long-term treatment center here in the state of Maryland. And that's when I found online that I had a grand theft charge in the state of Florida and that's what my warrant was attached to. So I was in this treatment center for about nine months and then I ended up getting pregnant. They kicked me out, whatever. So the whole thing was just kind of dropped at this point. My main priority at that point was learning how to be a mom, taking care of my baby, and honestly, just learning how to navigate life through, without drugs. Okay, so the night that I got pulled over, it was like a huge blessing in disguise because one, my kids weren't with me, and two, I would have never known about that. I ended up finally, you know, looking into getting a lawyer in Florida, and I did. First thing he had said was, I looked into your case and I literally cannot do anything until you turn yourself in. I have a $3,000 bail attached to my warrant and that if I call a bails bondman and set it up before that I can go in, get booked, he can post my bail and then I can get released right away. So that's exactly what I did. The grand theft in Florida in 2016 was anything over $300. Well now in 2022, the grand theft amount is anything over $750. So I walked into the jail and Florida now has a law that if you have a misdemeanor warrant, you can walk into the jail, turn yourself in, pay any fines you have to do, and then you can go. So we walk in, the lady says, 
hi, we have a pay and go, blah, blah. My bail bondman says, no, she's a self-surrender. I was booked, I was put into um, a, a felony cell. So I was in a cell with another female. I had now been in there for almost six hours and my bail bondman calls me. Like there's some problems with the amount of your bail. But I thought it was set at $3,000. Because there wasn't a dollar amount on the police report, on the police report it just said grand theft $300 to $20,000. The jail taken it and changed the changed it from grand theft for $300 to grand theft for $750. So from my point of view, I look at it as okay, when we got there, they saw grand theft of $300, right? Which would have been a misdemeanor because the grand theft is now $750. But they booked me, processed me, and then they were like we just process her we got to find some type of felon on her even on the police report it says that the co-worker only had six hundred and forty dollars in her wallet so she wouldn't even have enough to make it grand theft but that also changed the price of my bail so instead of three thousand dollars it was five thousand dollars which was why it was so there was so much confusion on getting me out it's just a show that definitely was a crazy story she told us about how she was on a run for so many years and you know i'm happy to hear that uh she was able to get herself together you know because being a, a very active user can be so bad um that's crazy though I, I didn't know the laws in florida hey i only been to florida once but i didn't know the laws in florida was the way it is and it's just weird to hear how the court system messed up so then she had to pay more for their mess up but at the same time i felt like she went because it could have been so bad in her situation definitely what happened two kids